What's up, Pastor Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. I'm Claudia, and this is a dumbbell hit workout with no repeats. Today, we're working your full body, mm -hmm. and we recommend having a few different weights available so that you can switch up the resistance depending on the exercise. You may want a bench, chair, or box available, but it's not required. You can follow me for the standard moves, and I'll provide easier modifications. Let's go. Getting started with our warm-up, first one is going to be a step back and reach. Let's go ahead and start with our feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to step back with my right leg, and then I'm with my right arm, I'm going to reach up into the left side, return back, alternating sides. Now step back with that left leg. And as you get into it, you can step back a little further if you'd like, and you can also drop that knee a little further down if you'd like. We're stretching out your quadriceps, hip flexors, shoulders, little back and chest, as well as our core and abdominal area. If you find yourself losing your balance a little bit, just kind of widen your base. So maybe take your right leg out just a little further to help you maintain that balance. The purpose of our warm up today is to get a little mobility work and elevate our heart rates and body temperature before we start. For three, two, one, and zero. All right, next one is a compound move. It's a two for one. We're going to do a toe touch into a cactus arms. So with our feet pretty close together here, we're going to bend over and do a toe touch, reaching as far down as you can. Maybe that's touching the ground, toes, ankles, shins, knees, whatever it is. And then stand up with straight arms all the way overhead. Now I'm gonna bring my elbows down while pulling back on my elbows and hands. Feel that chest and shoulders open up there. Back down into the toe touch or knee touch, whatever you got today. Back up. So it's a dynamic stretch, working through two full ranges of motion here. And you'll probably feel as you go through it, each repetition hopefully feels a little better than the previous one. That's right. Nice big deep breaths here. Moving at a warm up pace, feeling good. Not off to the races quite yet. We'll be there in a moment. And last one, pulling back on those elbows and hands. Feel that chest open up. Ah, excellent. All right, next up, we're gonna do a figure four, a stretch for our hips. I'm gonna perform my variation from a standing position. And I'm gonna do mine down from the floor. You decide what's more appropriate for you depending on your confidence and your balance. I'm gonna bring my right foot up to my, I'm sorry, left foot up to my right knee and then press down on that hip, place it back down and alternate. So you notice I'm doing the exact same movement, but I'm reaching through my legs and I'm pulling the back of my knee towards my chest a little bit, feeling a good stretch, and then switching to the other side. Stretching our hips, a little hip mobility, as well as loosening up our glutes. We're gonna get a lot of work in today. Like I said, testing your balance if you're doing the standing variation. Like that right there. <laughs> for five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right. Warm up is complete. Ready to go, Claudia? I'm ready. Oh, okay. I like it today. She Let's said that it. like she meant it. I know she was going to say it either way, but I think she might have meant it. I, okay. I did. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. <laughs> All right. For today, we're going, as we said in the introduction, there's no repeats. So we're just going to do every set, every exercise just for one set. We're going to do 45 seconds of work, 
fast as we can, and then we are going to have a 15 second rest period in between. So we're gonna go fast from one end to the next. Yes. For our first exercise, we're gonna perform a neutral press plus ISO hold. We need two dumbbells for this one. Bring both dumbbells up to a rack position to start. Let's press that left dumbbell straight up overhead. We're gonna hold it there in that isometric position. Now our right arm is going to press up and down. We're gonna do half on each side here. Woo. And as we said, 45 seconds. We're gonna burn out those shoulders with a banger to begin. Ready and begin. So all right to start here for the first half of the set. Keeping those palms facing in. Nice braced core on this one. Breathing through the movement. Finishing with that bicep by your ear all the way up top. We're gonna switch in three, two, one. Now right stays up. Oh my goodness. And left presses. Not holding your breath. Exhale as you bring that weight up overhead. For three, two, one, and zero. Oh my. Okay. All right. One dumbbell needed for the next one. Gonna work on our lower body and core. We're gonna perform a dumbbell reverse lunge plus a twist. Let's go ahead and grab that dumbbell on either side. I'm going to step back with my right leg, twist to my left side, and return. Alternating right and left. Again, 45 seconds. Ready and begin. So drop that knee down until ideally both knees are at a 90 degree angle. Keep that core braced, you want it nice and tight, especially as you twist into that lead leg, working your quadriceps, hamstrings, Ooh. glutes, calves, and core, even a little shoulder and arm just holding that dumbbell, right? That's right. Ooh. Good pace here. Just the 15 one seconds set. left. Just the one set. Getting as many in as you can here. That's the name of the game. And then we move on. Five seconds. And three. Two. There oh. you go. <laughs> Two. Break. One. <laughs> Break. All right. We can set that one dumbbell down or pick up a second one. I'm going to go a little lighter. We need a dumbbell hammer curl. So two dumbbells here. Good posture. Shoulders are back, palms are facing in. We're gonna curl all the way up, finishing with those dumbbells by our shoulders, all the way down. Full range of motion for 45 seconds. Ready and begin. This workout today is not only gonna work my biceps, it's gonna work my brain as oh, well my here. Oh goodness. <laughs> we got a lot going on, folks. Palms are <laughs> facing inward. That hammer curl, working your biceps as well as your forearms and grip. That's right. Keeping we, those elbows nice and close to your body. Yes, and we are moving fast, but that doesn't mean we want to swing the dumbbells. There is a difference. We want them to be under control. What does a swing look like? Show me. A swing would be here. Oh, oh. my whole body's working. Yeah, right? don't do no. that. Only want to bend at that elbow. Full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. Three, two, one, and break. Ah, nice. All right, let's keep that pace up. We're gonna work our upper back next with a neutral grip row. We need two dumbbells for this one. Feet are shoulder width apart, bend in our knees, hinge at our hips, 45 degree angle, back is straight, head line with our spine. I'm gonna pull back from those elbows and return back down. 45 seconds, ready and begin. How many can you get here? Letting those elbows lead the way every time. So what we mean by that is don't pull up with your hands. So it looks like this, but elbows lead the way. If you've been a part of the HasFit tribe for a while, you've heard me use that analogy. We want to pretend like we have a string attached to those elbows and we're, that string is being pulled back on. Not much left. Keep coming. Squeeze Let's do it. Squeeze your back up at the top on every repetition here. Last 10 seconds, come on, grind it out. How many can you get? And then we're done with these for the day. And three, two, one, 
zero. Oh, my All right, goodness. we're going to work our lower body with the next one. Only one dumbbell required. We're going to perform an offset front squat plus calf raise. So combination, I'm going to get this right dumbbell up in a rack position. Feet are shoulder width apart. My left arm is out straight. I'm going to break up my hips, sit down, full range of motion squat, come up and then into a calf raise. That's one repetition. We'll switch which side that dumbbell is in halfway through. And three, two, one, hit it. I wanna make sure that your core is braced throughout the whole move, so no loose core. And really activating our core on this one as it has to support that weight and stabilize that weight on just the one side. Doing good. Switching up here in just a minute. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. And switch. All right, same move. Keep it up. Sitting back, driving through that midfoot Ooh. so you shouldn't be falling back onto your heels or falling forward onto your toes. Oh Perfectly balanced. Core stays braced. Again, don't allow that core to get loose. Working your core just as much as your legs. Keep up the pace, almost done. In three, two, one, and break. All right, two, maybe a little lighter dumbbells for this next one. We're gonna perform a dumbbell triceps kickback. So isolation exercise for that. Tricep, uh, tricep body Smaller part. Smaller muscle group, so. Smaller muscle group, feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to bring those elbows up, palms are facing in, and now we're just going to extend at the elbow, only moving from that elbow joint, only flexing from that joint. Okay, ready, and begin, 45 seconds, let's go. Squeeze that upper arm, the back of the arm, your tricep on every rep. Another one where you're gonna to wanna to try your best to avoid swinging. It's kind of that fine line and balance between moving at a good speed, but staying controlled throughout that good speed. That's right, not using any extra momentum. So not here. Yes. But instead, keeping that upper arm kind of locked into place. And it's gonna be tempting those last 10 seconds, but you can do it. Shoot, I'm tempted now. <laughs> 10 seconds left, come on. Finish strong, folks, finish strong. Squeeze that back of the arm every time. In three, two, one, and break. All right, probably need a heavier <sighs> weight for this next one. It's a compound move. Two dumbbells, we're doing a dumbbell hang clean okay. next. Our feet are shoulder width apart. The hands start facing us. We're going to hinge at our little bend in our knees, hinge at our hips. So that means we're only bringing those butt back. We're not bending at our knees anymore until the dumbbells are in line with our knees. And now I'm gonna explode my hips forward as I bring those dumbbells up. I'm engaging my traps and upper back to get them up. And exhale Ooh. as you bring them up. 45 seconds, you know the drill. Three, two, one, hit it. Big power on this one. It's really a, a total body exercise. Everything from hamstrings, glutes, lower back, shoulders, biceps, forearms, upper back, all getting involved here. That's right. Inhale down, <sighs> exhale as you explode those weights. And you notice that we're driving through the balls of our feet exploding up as we come up. Those palms stay facing us throughout the whole move. Come on, give it all you got here. Not much left. How many can you get here? Keep that back straight, no rounding. Inhale, and then exhale on the way up. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Okay, no dumbbells needed for the next one, which actually is bad news, not good news. You might think it's good news. It's probably tougher without. Coming to the floor into a side plank leg raise in a side plank position on my forearm, and then I'm gonna come up onto both feet. Notice I have my left leg down. So her variation is a little easier. Now with a straight leg, bring that right straight leg up while maintaining a straight line from your uh, shoulder all the way down. That's right. Again, 45 seconds, but we're gonna switch halfway 
through on this one. Ready, and begin. This one's working your obliques, overall core, and killer on the glutes. Oh my goodness. You can say that again. Yeah. Definitely feeling it. Woo. Both glutes are getting hit just in a different way. About five more seconds and then we're gonna switch. In three, two, one, and switch sides. Okay, same move. Again, just flipping over here, up on my right forearm now. Ready, hit it. No downtime in between. Woo. Glutes are catching on fire. Man, are they ever. We're feeling it too, <laughs> come on. Right to the end, push, 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 push. Come on, you got it. Almost there. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, excellent. We're staying on the floor for our next one, but we do need two dumbbells. We're gonna perform a hollow body seesaw press. So it's like a chest press variation with our core involved. So starting by lying down on, the on my back, I'm going to rest my upper arms down on the floor. I'm going to glue my lower back to the floor, bring my shoulder blades up off the floor, and then extend my legs out straight. That's a hollow body position. I'm going to have my knees bent. So I'm going to do everything exactly like he said, but with tabletop knees. Now a seesaw press, one arm is pressing up while the opposite arm comes down. So really lighten up that core while we're Woo. working on that chest press. This is gonna be spicy. Oh, I like it, I like it spicy. Okay, <laughs> ready and go. All right, elbows are bent at a 45, alternating that press. And the key is on that hollow body to keep that lower back glued to the floor. So whatever you do, don't allow that lower back to come up and arch. And if you can't stop it from arching, Time to bend those knees and to get into that tabletop position. Nothing wrong with bending those knees if my core is on fire. So again, one arm's coming up, other arm's coming down at the same time. Stopping myself from rotating. Work on our chest, tricep, shoulders, whole core involved here. 10 seconds left, come on. Right to the end. We're burning too. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Those were as awesome as oh. they looked. Okay. Next up, we are going to perform a dumbbell posterior swing. We need one dumbbell for this one. We're going to interlace both fingers around that dumbbell. Feet are wider than shoulder width apart. So this is similar to like a kettlebell swing if you've done those before. Slight bend in our knees. I'm going to hinge at my hips. Bring that backside back as I swing the dumbbell between my legs and then drive my hips forward, keeping my back straight, finishing with those arms parallel to the floor. Let's 45 seconds. Ready, hit it. So this one's all in the hips. Don't turn it into a squat where you're like really bending in the knees every time and you're doing something like this. That's not the exercise. It is a hinge. That means those hips are driving backwards and then they're driving forward. And our arms are really just what we would say along for the ride here. You get a nice glute squeeze up at the top as you complete the repetition. Head stays in line with your spine so you don't have your neck cranked up while you're doing it. 10 more seconds, come on. Finish strong, folks. What do you got right here? Let's hit it. And three, two, one, zero. Nice work. We need two dumbbells, lighter dumbbells for this next one. We're gonna perform a dumbbell straight arm reverse fly. Ooh. Actually. Feet, feet are shoulder width apart, oh, going lighter, see? <laughs> when we say light, we mean it. it, doesn't take much on this one. We're gonna bend over at that 45 degree angle. Arms are straight, palms are facing in. Straight arm, pull those dumbbells apart. Squeeze the middle of your back. Control the way down. 45 seconds, you know the drill. Ready, let's work, Hasfit Tribe, come on. This one's working all of those scapular muscles, our rear deltoids, rhomboids. All those beautiful back muscles. And controlling, arms stay straight. Even working our lower back and core just to maintain this position. Again, control that lowering phase. 
Don't race too fast through it. Exhale as you bring those dumbbells up. The hardest part of the movement is when we want to make sure that we're doing our exhale breath. Oh, not much left. You're getting close. Come on, try. That's right. Five more seconds. And two, one, zero. Oh. Oh, all right. Let's <laughs> let our back take a moment's rest. We need a heavier dumbbell for the next one. We're going to perform a halo plus goblet squat. One uh, dumbbell needed for this one. <laughs> a little indecision. Indecision. Don't mind me. Starting with a halo, grabbing that dumbbell from either side. I'm going to bring my left arm up and behind my head as well as that dumbbell. Finish back in front and then goblet squat, full range of motion squat. And then opposite way halo. Squat again. 45 seconds here. Let's do Ready. it. And begin. Keep that core engaged throughout the whole move. Again, you hear me say that throughout today's workout. We don't want a relaxed, squishy midsection here. No. We want to keep that 360 degree brace. I'm trying to remember which way you went on that last halo. Oh, I know. So you can alternate. It's a brain teaser. Yeah, everything's <laughs> a brain teaser at this point in the workout. That's all right. Do the best you can. Driving those hips back every time. Ooh Full range of motion squat. Not much left. Come on. Right to the very end, folks. Working your shoulders, core, whole lower body. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, excellent. No dumbbells needed for the next one. We're moving to the floor. We're going to perform either a lying leg raise or a lying knee raise. So again, I'm going to glue that lower back to the floor. I'm going to start with my legs out straight and I'm going to keep my legs straight as I bring them up and perpendicular to the floor. And I'm going to bring my knees up and straight back down to the ground. 45 seconds. You decide which variation is appropriate for you. Let's do it. And begin. Again, keep that lower back glued to the floor. Temptations there to have that big arch, but that's not healthy for your lower back. What can they do with their hands, Claudia, to if help them with that? If you begin to feel like your lower back is beginning to hurt, just go ahead and stick your, your hands right underneath your lower back just to ease some of the tension. And also, if you want another way to increase or decrease the difficulty is whether or not you decide to rest your feet in between repetitions. Right. So you can take a one, one second pause in between if you need to. Especially at this point of the workout. Yeah, where core has been getting hit every which way from every angle since we started. Not much left. Five more seconds. In three, two, one, and break. All right, we're moving into a push-up variation next. I'm going to do my push-up from the floor. And I'm actually going to grab my bench for this one. So she's doing the incline variation. You could also use a countertop or a wall, depending on your comfort level with push-ups. We're going to do 45 seconds worth, and it's a harder variation. We're going to do a push-up plus straight arm raise. So I'm up in push-up position, lowering my body. And then as I come up, bring my right straight arm up, back to the floor, down, left straight arm up. And you can either bring that arm up as you're coming up or come all the way up and then bring it up, but it's slightly easier. 45 seconds here. You decide which variation is right for you. Ready and begin. Core stays tight throughout. Try not to have your butt up in the air and you don't want your butt slouched either. That nice flat back. Try to keep your shoulders nice and square as you bring your arm up. Just try to minimize that rotation. One way to help your balance on this one is to widen your feet just a little slightly, a little maybe a little more than normal. That'll help you with your balance. That's a good tip. Not only working your chest, tricep, shoulders, also working your core on this one. As you work to bring that arm up, we got last 10 seconds. Woo. Come on, fight to the end, folks. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh my. Ah, shake it loose. <laughs> We're gonna let our upper body rest while we beat up that lower body. We're going to do a side lunge next, and I'm gonna use one dumbbell. And I'm actually just gonna use my body weight on this one. We're gonna go half and half to each side. I'm gonna start by, with my dumbbell in my right hand, taking a big step to my left side, dropping my hips down and back up. And we'll split half and half on each side. 
Ready? Yes. And begin. Now, if your depth is only about right here, maybe just a bit of a quarter squat, that's totally fine. Just try to remember to sink back into your hips as best as you can. Yeah, you decide which depth is most appropriate for you, but pushing yourself at the same time to drop those hips. Good full range of motion on it. And last one on this side. Okay, switch, same move. Now stop, step to the opposite way. If you have that dumbbell, Ooh. switch what hand that dumbbell is in. Feel that stretch. Both legs are working on every rep. It's just different muscles on each leg. Make sure you're pushing from your midfoot. So not your heel, not pushing from your toes as you come back up. Working your whole lower body. Nice lateral exercise. Moving to the side for three, two, one, zero. Okay, now we're gonna let our lower body rest here while we work our upper body with a dumbbell pullback, maybe a medium-sized weight. Feet shoulder width apart, bending over in a 45 degree angle. Arms are straight to start, palms are facing back. With a straight arm, we're gonna pull those arms back, squeezing your triceps and your lap muscles, those big back muscles under your arm. 45 seconds. Let's do Ready. it. Ready, and begin. Again, core stays tight and braced throughout the whole move. So tempting to get loose and to kind of do this thing here, but don't do it. Keep those shoulders retracted. Keep that core braced. Almost like you're bracing for impact, like someone's yeah. gonna try to knock you over, but you're just, you're ready for them. Yeah, and it, well, it, something is trying to knock you over, these dumbbells. That's true. Fighting for that stability here on every rep. So those triceps and back working, and legs just to maintain this position. Ooh, come on, you have about 12 seconds left. Right to the end, come on, Hester Tribe. I'm not gonna stop when it hurts, we're gonna stop when we're done. That's right. Three, two, one, zero. All right, we got one last one for you. Oh, I'm sorry, I take that back. One last upper body move for you. <laughs> it's a dumbbell Psych. curl. <laughs> it's like dumbbell curl plus Arnold press. Two dumbbells here for this one. We're going to first start with a curl and then twist those palms forward as we press up, return back down. So four parts. One, two, three, four, 45 seconds. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Full range of motion here. You got it, you made it this far. Let's push right to the end. Oh man, you've made it this far. I know you're not giving up right now. Oh no, heck no. Just think of how good it's gonna feel when you're all done. You can check this one off your list. Come on, race into that finish line, folks. Working your biceps, forearms, shoulders, little chest and back as well. Keep that core tight. You heard me say it a million times a day. You gotta keep reminding you though. Remembering to breathe. No breath holding Come on, here. 10 seconds. Right to the end, come on. Feeling good. Burn so good, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh. Speaking of burn so good, oh, we're moving to a mountain man. climber next. No. Come on. Everything you got with this last exercise. I'm gonna do mine from the floor. I'm doing mine from an incline. You see I have the bench here, but it's still gonna kick my butt. So I'm gonna do a little more dynamic version where I'm gonna jump to switch my feet. And I'm gonna do a more of a lower impact. So bringing my knees up, returning my foot, and then bringing the other knee up. Regardless of which variation you choose, this is it right here, 45 seconds. That's it. Right to the end, come on, finish strong. Ready, and hit it. How many can you get? in this last 45 seconds. Pushing yourself Ooh here, folks. Come on, it's you versus you. And if this variation from the incline feels too easy, go ahead and kick it up a notch to Coach Kozak's version. Core from stays the tight. bench. Back stays straight. Come on, everything you got right here, right now. Come on. Whoa, I lost my shoe. That's oh how no. hard I was going. That's how hard I was you going. You gotta okay. keep going. Let's go, I gotta tie my shoe. I promise I'm not quitting on you. 10 seconds. Right to the end, come on. Come on, and five, four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, great work, folks. Yes. Nice work out there. 
We finished did it. it. We made it. Yes. Now for the easy part. Well, maybe not easy. The easier part. The cool down. Working on some mobility here. Getting started with a standing quad stretch. You can do this on your own, standing out in space if you'd like, or you can use a wall, a, a door, a Something chair, to help you hold your balance. Maintain A small your child, whatever you got available <laughs> to you. I'm going to reach back. Hold and my hand. Reach back and grab my left foot. If you're doing it on your own, you're going to test some balance as well. Yes. Focus. Pulling back. It always helps to just focus on something. Yeah, don't have your eyes jumping around the room. Yeah, I'm, I'm staring right at you. Right at you. Keep that knee tucked into the side. Don't have it flaring out. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. All right, same opposite side. We can't just leave that opposite quad hanging. Nice static stretch here at the end of our workout. Increase our mobility, flexibility, and it helps to decrease soreness over the next couple days. So that's a nice added bonus. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna do a combination, a little flow here next. We're gonna do a downward dog to a cobra, to a child's pose. No yoga experience required. We're just in it for the stretch. We're gonna stand, feet shoulder width apart, come down to the floor, walk our hands out. And then downward dog, we're gonna relax our shoulders, bring our hips back, almost like somebody behind you and they're pulling your hips backwards. Feel that stretch from your calves, hamstrings, glutes, back. Relaxing those shoulders. And now we're gonna come down into a cobra. And if you'd like, you can add some extra difficulty by diving into it, or you can just relax and get into it. Bring those glutes down, squeeze your glutes, your buttocks in this one. While you bring those shoulders back, chin up. That's that cobra. And now sit back into a child's pose. Relaxing those shoulders, sitting back ideally onto your heels. Nice, relaxing. You can even walk your fingers out just ever so slightly to get a little extra stretch in your shoulders. And we're going to repeat that sequence. So now go ahead and come on up into that downward dog again. Between these three moves, we're really hitting your whole anterior and posterior chain. That's your front and back. Nice, relaxed here. Hopefully a little bit deeper than you were in that first go around. And then diving into that cobra. Glutes are flexed, shoulders are back, head is up. Oh my goodness, my back. <laughs> is it possible to have a back cramp? Because I think I almost had one. We got a cramp. <laughs> And sitting back <laughs> into that child's pose. Hopefully this child's pose takes care of it for you. Yeah, I think it will. All right. Nice and relaxed here. Taking a moment to be proud of what you achieved so far today. If working out were easy, everybody be fit. But you know mm -hmm. that's not the case. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier to just to say, uh, maybe tomorrow. But I'm you didn't do that today. Mood. You got it in. You did it. And three, two, one, zero. Ah, speaking of staying consistent and getting that workout in when you need Ooh. to, one of the things we've found to help people stay consistent and accountable are following a complete workout program and calendar so you know what you're doing the next day and it just helps you stay organized That's and right. make sure that the workouts that you're doing help you get to that end goal. And we have those for you. Everything from, uh, from weight loss programs, muscle building programs, Programs to help you kick butt at life. We have all those available to you where? On the Hasbit app, <laughs> which can be downloaded onto an Android or iPhone device. Just helps take the guesswork out of what to do next. You can also stop by our store, help support us by picking up some Hasfit gear, like a Hasfit t-shirt or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Until next time, I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see, see you, you at your next workout. <laughs>